So, what do we know about Burma? Okay, the Burma Railway, bridge over the River Kwai, Rambo 4, and Sang Suu Kyi, the monks, the protests, Cyclone Nargis, it's not Burma, it's Myanmar, and sending women's pants to the Burmese generals because they apparently believe that any contact with female undergarments will sap them of their power. You didn't know that? Well, it doesn't matter. There's more. A lot of artists and comedians have been stepping up to the mark and been getting into trouble with the Burmese government for so doing. There was a lucky Burmese man, he managed to get a passport and he went to India. Whilst in India, he visited a dentist and the Indian dentist said to him, well, why don't you wait till you go home? Don't you have dentists in Burma? And the Burmese man said, oh yes, sure. It's just that we're not allowed to open our mouths. Nothing? No reaction? Tough crowd. But let's face it, if you weren't allowed to open your mouth, you'd love that joke. That's one of Zarganar's. He's a Burmese comedian, and it's the sort of joke the Burmese government hates so much that Zarganar is currently serving 35 years in prison. Now, as he's 48 and in poor health, the chance of him ever being able to get out alive are slim, unless enough people put pressure on the Burmese government. Equities International Committee for Artists' Freedom is running a postcard campaign and raising awareness about Zarganar. To get your free cards to send to the generals, go to www.freezarganar.org. Zarganar, in fact, stands for tweezers, and Zarganar adopted this name because he originally trained as a dentist. But he had to become a comedian, because when he was a dentist, nobody would open their mouths. Still nothing. That's repetition. Supposedly, twice the laughs for half the work. Just don't try it in Burma. Stroke Myanmar.